KATC Weather Lab. Here's Eric's forecast. The dry weather continued making for sunny skies, perfect for viewing the partial solar eclipse here in Acadiana, but it does look like as we go through the coming days, we'll start to see the clouds return and then slowly the rain chances will be bumping up as well. So taking a look, here's another one of those uh, great viewer pictures of the partial solar eclipse. This one captured by Jeremy Marceau and you can see it's a little bit different. Now we're looking at the ground and you can see the, the partial crescent sunshines peeking through some of the tree leaves and it made all these cool little crescent shapes on the ground out there. That was another one of the cool spectacles you could catch with the partial solar eclipse here in Acadiana. And if you missed out on this one, don't worry. Right, we're going to have another one happen in just six years, so we're not going to have to wait as long as we did this time. And this one's going to move out of Mexico, come through Texas, and so it's going to be a little bit closer to us. And that time, we're going to have 87% of the sun blocked out by the moon when that one comes around on April 8th in 2024. So we we'll might be able to see the clouds get a little bit darker here and it should be an even cooler spectacle in about six years. So that's something to look forward to here in Acadiana. We had the clear skies out there, but now we're starting to see a few more clouds make their way in and a few spotty showers are developing close to the Gulf Coast. They were down through St. Mary and Lower St. Martin Parish, but now moving up into Iberia and then continuing to make their way out to the west over towards Vermilion Parish and over towards Jeff Davis as well. So taking a closer look at some of the showers that are making their way through, you can see Morgan City was dealing with that earlier, but now they're beginning to dry out and much of St. Mary Parish is seeing the rain come to an end. Now we're just watching some showers heading towards maybe New Iberia. You could see some moderate to heavy showers here in the next 10 to 15 minutes or so. Also, we got a little system heading up towards the Delcom area. Abbeville, you just saw a little shower making its way through your area. That's moving off to the west as well. So maybe Kaplan, you could maybe begin to see some of that moisture head your way as well. And then up to the north, as I mentioned, up towards Jeff Davis Paris Lake. Arthas just had a little moderate shower make its way through, and that's also continuing to push off to the west. But most of this activity should begin to fizzle out here in the next hour or so once the sun goes down around 7-4 and things should begin to quiet down after that. On the enhanced satellite, we can see a bit more moisture now making its way into the Gulf of Mexico, and that's kind of feeding up for some of those showers and storms that we have out there today. Eventually, we'll see some of this moisture mix in with a frontal boundary dropping from the north to increase our rain chances as we get to Tuesday afternoon and a better chance as we head towards Wednesday. Out in the tropics, we're continuing to monitor a system just to the north of the Bahamas. It's still very unorganized, but the Hurricane Center giving us a 40% chance of development as it heads towards the east coast of Florida. So it's not really expected to become a system, but could produce some heavy downpours for portions of the east coast of Florida and up into the Georgias and Carolinas in the coming days. What we're having to pay attention to is down here in the Caribbean Sea. What's left of the remnants of Tropical Storm Harvey are beginning to get a little bit better organized, but now they are quickly making their way towards the Yucatan Peninsula. Heavy showers already making their way into the portions of Mexico and Belize, and but the circulation is still back here a little bit to the north of Honduras. So it's expected to make its way through the Yucatan Peninsula as we go throughout much of our Tuesday, making its way into the southern Gulf of Mexico by late Tuesday in the early Wednesday. And as that does, that's when it could run into some very favorable conditions to strengthen back into a tropical storm, maybe even a hurricane in the coming days. That's why the center giving it now a 90% chance of development in the next five days. And we're really going to have to pay attention to this as this is one model's depiction of what could happen here in the coming days. So you see system make its way into the southern Gulf of Mexico and then it begins to strengthen, could become a tropical storm or hurricane and kind of make landfall around the tip of Texas towards the Brownsville area, North Mexico. And then as we go throughout the weekend, it makes its way up along the east coast. You see between Houston and Corpus Christi getting hounded with some very heavy rains as we go throughout our Sunday afternoon. And then as we move into the early part of next week, some of those rains begin to make their way in across the Acadiana. As you can see, some heavy downpours expected by Monday afternoon. And then the real system kind of gets here as we go into our Tuesday, producing the possibility of five to 10 inches of rain across portions of Acadiana. So that's a system we're going to have to continue the monitor. It's still a week or so away, so things could change, but it is something interesting to see that model already depicting it coming over top of us and could produce that heavy rain. So that's something we'll have to watch. So through the rest of this evening, clear skies, waking up the sunshine to begin our Tuesday. Clouds fill in by lunchtime and then one or two spotty showers as we go throughout the afternoon. But most of us should be able to have one more dry day across Acadiana. And then as we head towards our wind day, that's when we're expecting things to change as we have a front dropping down. That'll bring us the chance for more of those scattered showers and storms, especially as we head into Wednesday evening. So for the rest of the night, a stray shower for the coastal communities. Otherwise, just a few passing clouds, 76 for the overnight low. And then as we go throughout tomorrow, hot and humid, 93 with those isolated showers possible during the late afternoon. 
Rain chances going up, as I mentioned, by Wednesday, 50%, but then dropping down a little bit as we head towards the latter half of the week. Rain chances going up, though, as we head towards the weekend with that tropical moisture beginning to head towards our way with temperatures falling into the 80s by next week. All right, Eric, thanks. And still ahead here on the News at 6, we're talking Saints. We'll have more of 